Well, at this point in the program, you've heard so many people, and I agree with everything everybody said, so, you know, they always have the old adage at the end, everything that it has needed to be said has already been said, but not everybody has said it. And so I'm going to be very, very brief. Uh, first of all, to tell you that I will always stand with Armenia. I have many, many Armenian American friends. I even know that there's a West Armenian language and an East Armenian language. Um, and it's really a wonderful thing to celebrate a 20th anniversary, because those of us that kind of grew up as Cold War babies, we sort of thought the Soviet Union would never fall. And when the Soviet Union fell and so many people were finally free, the Armenian people were at the front of the line, are wanting to align themselves with the U.S., wanting to align themselves with the West, and wanting to have the fruits that, that all freedom-loving peoples have. So I want to just tell you that we will never shirk from our friendship with the Armenian people. The Armenian American community is a terrific bridge to both countries, as so many other ethnic Americans are. And we are going to keep the pressure on Turkey until one day there is a recognition of, of the Armenian genocide. You know, I'm a senior member of the Foreign Affairs Committee. I've been in Congress for 23 years. And the Armenian genocide vote passed out of the uh, Foreign Affairs Committee by one vote. So I take credit for it. I tell everybody it was my vote to put it over. I wanted to tell you one last story, and that is about um, six months ago. We had the Turkish foreign minister here. And he gave us all a lecture, and he had the nerve to lecture about a whole bunch of things. And when it was my turn to ask a question, I said to him, you know, you want apologies? Well, maybe we'll give you some when you apologize for the Armenian genocide. And I said, you talk about certain countries occupying places. Uh, isn't Turkey the country that's occupied Cyprus since 1974? And when a country like Israel wants to defend itself against terrorists from Gaza, and they're criticized by the Turkish government, well, Turkey thinks it's perfectly okay to go over the border into Iraq to get at what they call uh, Kurdish terrorists. So with the Turks, it's always been a double standard. But when it comes to Armenia, we won't let them have a double standard. We're going to keep their feet to the fire, and the relationship between the United States uh, and Armenia will never uh, die, and we are going to continue to put the pressure on Turkey to recognize the Armenian genocide. Thank you, and God bless.